Please pause for a moment of quiet reflection. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This, Justin, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers. As mentioned, we have a breaking news story to tell you about. Apparently, a plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City. It happened just... Devastating. Surreal. Unbelievable. Terrifying. The principal came over the intercom and said, teachers, you may want to turn your televisions on because something important is happening that you may want to see. I was actually uh, a senior at Laster High School in East Cobb County and I was sitting in an anatomy class when it happened and everyone just kind of shut down. And you know, being in a position as a teacher, it, it was one of those just surreal moments where it's like you've got nothing to add. We had never experienced something like that to that magnitude before. And it was like, we're not safe in our own country. When I got to my AP uh, English course, yeah, we saw the second plane hit the building. And so just kind of numb, just kind of walking around and then uh, something has happened again. And that's when everyone started getting calls from their parents and things of that nature. I remember also seeing um, twin girls that I taught in class crying. And I knew they were Hispanic and I knew that they had family in New York City. And later on, I found out that day that their sister was in the building. What's up, Alpharetta? I'm Nick Hayward, and I'll be your host for this week's portion of The Morning Show. Let's get started. Congratulations to the Lady Raider volleyball team for defeating both Peachtree Ridge and Greater Atlanta Christian on Tuesday, bringing their overall season to 20 and one. How many teams are in the NFL? 32. 72. 35. 12. <laughs> what catchphrase is most commonly associated with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Get to the chopper. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Arnold who? Arnold Palmer. <laughs> who wrote Gone with the Wind? No one. Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Mm, 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 mm. I know. No, 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 no. That girl off the Real Housewives? Edgar Allan Poe. Wait, what was the next question? I've never heard of that. Who wrote Gone with the Wind? I've never heard oh, of that. Oh, um, Jordan Johnson. Mary Pope Osborne. The Rich Raider winner for the parking spot is Skylar Kaplan. Christina and I'm Michael and we'll be your host for this week's portion of the morning show. Let's get started. The AHS Pink Out football game is on Friday, October 7th at 7:30 p.m. Pink Out shirts will be on sale for $10 during both lunches on the dates listed around the posters around the school. 
Interested in volunteering and serving your community? Still want to join Leo Club? Leo Club will be having its next meeting this Wednesday, September 14th at 7.50 a.m. and after school in room 3213. Anyone interested, please stop by and enjoy some breakfast with friends. The winners of the free item from Chick-fil-A coupons are Lauren Kane, Maddie Smith, Jasmine Parks, and Gerly Hernandez. <laughs> Did you know the state sport of Maryland is jousting? I'm Kyle Harmeyer, and this has been Random Back to the Week. And the winners for the free football tickets are Logan Walker, Madison Shedrari, Noah Terrell, Renee Jones, Garadine Hernandez, Mamie Rucker, Callie Dawson, Destiny Huntley, Garindra Akula, and Sergio Sanchez. Anne Frank once said, nobody has ever become poor by giving. We have an amazing opportunity that will allow you to give back to those in need. The Hope House for Domestic Violence needs women and children's clothing and will come to your house to pick them up. Stop by the front office and pick up a form today. Forms are due Wednesday, September 14th. Thank you for your generosity. The winners for the free candy bar and soda at lunch are Dana Garofalo, Alan Anderson, Leah Coach, Heloisa De Silva, and Abdullah Ansari. Attention everyone who is in theater or speech. If you have not received your big and little match, please come by the black box room 1110 in the morning to pick up your match. What's up, Alpharetta? My name's Roach and I'll be your host for this week's Portion of the Morning Show. Let's get started. Interested in basketball cheer? Come by room 5107 and grab a packet. Packets must be returned by Wednesday, September 21st to the same room. Tryouts will be Monday, September 26th through Wednesday, September 28th from 4 o'clock to 5.30. Any questions, see Coach Cooper or Coach London. Go Raiders! Friday Night Lights, come on out and support our Raiders as they take on Centennial at home this Friday at 7.30 p.m. Tickets for this Friday night game will be on sale during both lunches on Friday. Will you be 18 years old by November 8th? If so, AHS is hosting a voter's registration drive on Wednesday, September 14th during both lunches outside the cafeteria. Bring an identification card, for example your driver's license, and you can register to vote in just a few minutes. Are you dedicated to helping make AHS a stronger and better environment for LGBT youth and their allies? Are you wondering how to become part of that strength here at AHS and as part of the, uh, the wider community? Please join for a welcoming organizational meeting for the Gay Straight Alliance Club, Wednesday, September 14th in, the, in 2315, Miss Hubbard's room at 8 a.m. Are you a junior or senior? Are you interested in tutoring and have a passion in science? The Science National Honor Society application is now open. Application is due September 19th. Make sure to apply. I'm Christina. And I'm Michael. And you've been watching The Morning Show. Woohoo! Woo